So this is the condemnation justification of Father Nicolas Pino, who has just been suspended at Divinis, who is, by a great kindness of the court of Father Vuyu, is kindly allowed to still wear the cassock, but nothing else. Father Pino has criticized in private, like the great majority of the priests of the society, the uh, gravely heterodox doctrinal declaration of the 15th of April that Bishop Fillet proposed to Rome in order to find a practical agreement. In his opposition, Father Pino has corrected the uh, misspellings of a letter which was called later the letter of the 37 priests, a text that was written down by Father Rioux. This uh, crime of lèse majesté or crime of, um, how do you say, call that? Uh, the, this crime against the uh, so-called uh, honor of the superior has been committed. It is not allowed to criticize the superior general, even in private, even when this superior is disobeying his own general chapter. Um, even when this criticism uh, uh, impedes him from uh, all uh, attempts to have a practical agreement without a doctrinal agreement with the new Rome. Even when he ratifies the uh, hermeneutic of continuity of Benedict XVI, and even when he recognizes the, legitimacy, the legitimacy of the new Mass, and even when he recognizes that the Council enlightens tradition, etc. The General House of the Society had uh, knowledge of this intervention of Father Pino in a very uh, amoral fashion by pirating and keeping the content of the mailbox of Father Ryu and also by creating a false mailbox at the name of Father Pino usurping his identity in order to subtract information uh, from his friends Father Wallier, Superior of District of Belgium and Low Countries, and Father Tourneau, General Secretary of the Society, are these two um, scoundrels who are, uh, who are guilty of these methods. Therefore, it is on the base of stolen documents that Bishop Fillet um, put out a decree in March 2013 against Father Pino. Everybody shall be able to judge for, him, for himself the honesty of such a superior who said to whoever wants to uh, reproach to him who, uh, who, that he reproaches the, this identity theft and this, the theft of private correspondence, but he is using that same correspondence in order to instruct a canonical process and to make uh, a condemnation against this priest who is hindering him. It is Father Vuyu, who belongs, to, uh, who is one of the, who is a cousin of Bishop Fillet, and um, each one of them are using the second person of the singular when they talk to each other, the tu in French, very familiar. It is Father Vuyu, who is a superior of the district of Switzerland, who was named judge. And this is what guarantees the impartiality, and Father Kilton, who is a teacher of so-called moral in Econ, he, is the, he uh, has been designated procurator. In his act of accusation, <coughs> Father Kilton justified the theft of the private correspondence and the other usurpations of identity, calling those things mental restrictions. This so-called tribunal took eight months to judge Father Pino who was, during all this time, uh, held in Heidhof, in Austria, forbidden to use internet, even to send letters. The sentence fell on the 8th of November 2013, and it's summarized in French in this way. You have the right to uh, go to confession and to receive Holy Communion, but nothing else. You cannot say Mass in private, you cannot hear confession, you cannot preach. But in its great generosity, uh, in, in, the, in the great generosity of this sentence, the judge 
the judges allow you to wear the cassock. End quote. This type of sanction is usually applied for priests whose morals uh, are not in accordance to their state. Any commentary on the honor and the honesty of the people having collaborating to this mockery of justice is, not, is unnecessary. Then there is uh, the civilian justice which is left. We hope it shall be very severe. Which, um, uh, and, it and we hope that you will not allow these uh, scoundrels to, um, to continue their actions much longer. And there is also the justice of God which is much more fearful that will uh, establish the truth in all things. So we wish you a great courage, uh, Monsieur Labbé. Archbishop Lefebvre had to face the same things in his time. Liars, thieves, manipulators, presumptuous, proud people, and people only in love with their own so-called authority. They were just less severe than the, the judges of today. You are the accused one who should judge them. Ostrom one. Uh, Postscriptum, Father Pino appeals this so-called judgment, this so-called unjust judgment, uh, because uh, that his uh, general superior, who is both judge and, and a party, can either ac ac uh, accept or refuse. So this is from Ostremoine, one of the websites of the uh, resistance in France.